I'm desperately needing to cut my bangs. I tried to do the, I gave up on life and just put them on the side and I just looked like Dwight from The Office. So not doing that. Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be the 50 rapid fire book questions, which is basically a book tag where I answer quickly 50 questions. I'm gonna to attempt to do that, but knowing myself, it's not gonna be quick. So question number one, hardback or paperback? I feel like if you've seen any, and I mean any of my videos, you're gonna know what's about to appear. Yeah, a big floppy paperback is like the best thing. I don't understand why people, like I know hard covers will look good on your shelves, but like these are just so much more comfy and like so freaking satisfying. Dust jacket off or on? What kind of monsters live out there? Like who reads a hardcover with the jacket on. Actually, people that borrow my books, apparently. Three, second hand or new copies? Come on. I mean, the ones I do buy, second hand all the way. I'm always reading about my library. I do recommend checking out your library because they always have sales. The prices have increased quite a bit. <laughs> it's now one book for a dollar, but back in the day when I started booktube, it was four books for a dollar, which what a freaking steal. Uh, but yes, still totally worth it. Definitely recommend that. And I also use like a bunch of like Value Village places uh, where books are really affordable. And then sometimes I will splurge on a new, you know, hardcover if it's a book or author that I want to support. Uh, but I don't tend to do it unless, you know, it's a continuation of a series that I really love. I don't take the risk often, although sometimes I do, but that is definitely not often. So used. For audiobooks or nah? I can't say no, like half the books I've read just this year are audiobooks. So clearly I don't get the hate for audiobooks. If you don't like them, fine. But like people that say like, oh, it's not reading. How many freaking studies have come out and like proved it was wrong to think that and people are still just dumb. So yeah, audiobooks, yay. Five, do you cover by? Honestly, not really. Like it's very, very rare I will. Like I might notice a book at the library sale and like pick it up because of the cover, but then I'll make sure what it is about before just reading it. I think I should actually do like a reading vlog of that. Like just picking up books I don't know much about just because they're pretty and then read them and see if it was worth it or not. Dangerous, but I mean, we do need a little bit of excitement in our lives right now. So maybe. What's a good book with a bad cover and then the opposite? Give me a second. Actually for the, uh, a bad book with a good cover. The Need is actually kind of pretty, and that was a terrible book. Magic for Liars was a really good cover for a terrible book too. I feel like The Sparrow could have a better, I was going to say thumbnail, <laughs> cover, right? Maybe it's just my edition. I don't know what the other ones look like, but eh. I feel like The Radium Girls could have had a better cover. It was a really good nonfiction. Let me check what the other edition looks like. Oh yeah, that is much better. So get the, I'm assuming this is the UK edition much prettier. It's always better in the UK. Why? Not fair. Number eight, first book you ever read. Honestly, I can't remember. I think the oldest one I can remember. I read a book as a kid that was like Leah eating her peas or something. And like, that's like the oldest book I can think of. Probably isn't the first one. I mean, when you're a kid, parents reading to you type of thing. But I remember reading it on my own. <laughs> Number nine, last book you ever finished. The Dark Forest. Finally. We did it. Uh, that was not easy because the first half sucked, uh, but the rest was mind blowing, adore it. Number 10, last series you finished. I have no idea. I have like the worst memory right now. I don't know if it's like life, <laughs> but ooh. Does like catching up to a series count? If so, that would be Bands of Mourning by Brendan Sanderson because that's the third book in a four book series, but the fourth book is not out yet. I don't think that counts. Okay, let me go check. I'm terrible at finishing series, so like, I have no idea <laughs> what is going to be the book I find. Dark Dawn by J. Kristoff. That was last year, so I haven't finished. <laughs> I mean, I never finished series, but yes, this is the last book in the uh, Nevernight Chronicle. I feel like everyone booktube was already raving about it, so that's the last one I finished. I need to finish that more often. Maybe I should do like, I did do that challenge actually this year and I did poorly, so. Last book you bought. Wow, I haven't done a haul in a while because pandemic. But uh, I remember recently I got one on the Kindle because Amazon, you know, harassed me, sent me emails, and I felt the need to buy this book because it's been on my TBR for the longest time, and it was cheap, like two bucks, and it is The Shadow of What Was Lost uh, by James Isling Islington. 
Anyway, it's an adult fantasy. That's literally all I remember, but it has been on my list for a really long time. So that's the last one I bought. Number 12, what's your favorite genre? <sighs> I hate choosing. It's probably between fantasy or sci-fi, but let's be real right now, I have been on a sci-fi kick, which nobody noticed. So yeah. <laughs> Number 13, what's your favorite book in that genre? I fucking hate those questions. I hate choosing favorites. Um, at the moment, <laughs> Let's, let's do this year. What's the best one I've read so far this year? That is more manageable. Starsight by Brendan Sanderson. I also really like the three body problem, but like I still had some issues with it. So let's go with Starsight. It's fairly a fairly safe choice. Uh, and it was great. I definitely recommend the whole series. So far two books are out, but it's a YA sci-fi and just fun. 14, what genre do you never reach for? <sighs> I don't know, not romance, huh? <laughs> 15, do you read poetry? No, unless it's my Goodreads reading challenge of last year, I read two, and they were probably the only two I will read-ish. Popular science, as in nonfiction? Yes, yes. 17, middle grade? Yeah, uh, I did the challenge once so far this year, I do wanna do it again. It was fun, they were all the ones that like I have never read as a kid, so that was different. <laughs> broke my heart already and I feel like I'm gonna have my heart broken again so eh. do you have book box subscriptions no what's your favorite bookish item <gasps> my post-its uh, if you've never seen them they're called finger it which uh, it's an Asian brand and well not the brand it's not <laughs> finger it is not the Asian brand it's just the, this product and they're little fingers with faces and I use them all the time when I do a review of a specific book because it makes it more fun, especially when I hate the book. <laughs> What's your current bookmark? I just grabbed the book because obviously I'm a piece of poo and I have yet to go anywhere with this amazing book, yet I just don't read it. Um, a bookmark that comes free whenever you order from Book Depository. When do I ever use actual bookmarks? Look at me. I really need to accelerate here. Um, what's the strange object you've used as a bookmark? I mean, what have I not used? I feel like I've used bobby pins, toilet paper, but is that weird? Probably not. I've probably used literally everything, my phone, definitely. But that's not weird. What is the weirdest thing you have used? Probably used food, to be honest. That That's pretty shameful. Like non-dirty one, like a Cheerios or something. <laughs> 22, book jackets or no? I mean, I don't mind them, but I removed them to read the book. Number 23, who's your <laughs> fictional boyfriend? I don't do that stuff. I, I just, I, I know, no. I do have very wholesome characters like Sam from Lord Rings or Sazed from Miss Born, but I don't want to date fictional char book characters. Movie, maybe. Books, eh. Number 24, favorite book couple. I feel like everyone ships people all the time and I don't. What are your favorites? I want to know so I can like agree or disagree. Favorite book villain from Vengeful. I'm terrible with names, but the main villain that you meet literally five seconds into the book. She's awesome. I love her and she's the villain. Favorite book adventure, Lord of the Rings. That's the only one I can think of because I guess nothing else compares. Series, trilogies or standalone? I love a good series. However, I find that very often series are stretched so much to make more money. Uh, so I do love a good standalone. Ideally a trilogy, but I would rather have a standalone than something that feels stretched. There you go. Mixed media books or paragraphs? Paragraphs. Okay, this is where English fails me. Uh, favorite book adaptation is apparently different than film adaptation or TV adaptation. Do you mean like they made a book out of a movie? Then pff, no, it's never good. Uh, film adaptation or TV one? I mean, Lord of the Rings was really good, but I would be curious to hear yours because I feel like I'll always forget what I would say in those circumstances, so let me know. What book needs an adaptation? Oh my God, so many. Uh, I feel like Blake Crouch would be pretty cool. Like his last two like standalone books would be really intense. Uh, I would love to see Literally, honestly, most of my favorite books I would like to see in adaptation because that would be awesome. Favorite book world? Damn it, Harry Potter, obviously, because magic. I mean, it's the least violent. I mean, I know there's the whole, you know, the one you can't say the name of, blah, 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 Voldemort thing. But I mean, other than that, it seems pretty cool. And like, 
kind of achievable <laughs> instead of like a whole world. Yeah. Favorite writing style. I don't really care. I know some people like really love when the writing is either really flowery or it's not at all. I don't really care. I feel like it's one of those things. It's like, I like everything unless I tell you otherwise, <laughs> which is not useful at all. <laughs> What's a book you love that nobody knows about? I mean, you will know because I will not shut up about it, but like most sci-fi, I feel like people, that's not true. People do talk about it, but like, it's not as well loved. I feel like on booktube, I feel like the, you know, bigger people don't really le read sci-fi, especially like adult one. So yeah, that. I feel like the only ones that really pop into my mind are things like Spin or The Sparrow that I've raved about nonstop last year because I read them last year and they're both like really fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> interesting uh, First Contact with Aliens books, but I don't feel like I ever see anyone talk about them. So that's gonna be my answer. What's a popular book you've hated? So freaking many. Uh, if you go back to my worst books of like 2017 or 18, I bashed. And I mean bashed some books because they deserved it. Uh, but there were like, a lot of them were like the really popular YA books. And I feel like when you read them as an adult, you're more critical because you realize that they ain't shh. So yeah, like I'm thinking Attachment by Rainbow Rowell, which is actually an adult but one, but it kind of reads why. Uh, same thing with, uh, what's the name of that thing? I get rid of all the books I hate, so I don't have them, but like the Unbecoming of Mary Dyer, like, all that stuff, I had a lot of fun bashing them. So yeah, those are very popular and I don't get why. Favorite childhood reads? Harry Potter? Other than that, I've been mentioning uh, Peggy Sue thingy, like on adventure. It's kind of a sci-fi, I guess, if you stretch it. Uh, but yeah, I guess. What's a book that changed your life? I don't I do not do that stuff. Like unless I love it and I reread it, like all my favorites, you can kind of say that, but like, you know how some people will read like a nonfiction, like a self-help book and they're like, it changed my life. I can't do this. I wish I could. But like every time my brain is like, so did not work for me. Actually, one of my friends tried to make me read uh, You're Such a Badass, I think. And I read like one chapter before giving up. I think I should try to vlog it because it might force me to finish it. I want it to work, but it just doesn't. What book did you hate in school? <sighs> I feel like there was this one French book that I had to read in high school, last year of high school. And I can't even remember the title, but it was like a French Canadian one. Like the, basically the teacher did uh, a thing where everyone in the class was reading a different one and just doing a presentation. That way we could avoid talking about all of them. And uh, I had like a really terrible one that was really, really thick and it sucked, but I can't remember what it was. So this is super useful. <laughs> Do you buy to collect? I mean, yes and no. Like, as in pretty edition and stuff like that, not really, I rarely do it, but I do like to own some of the books that I love, so maybe. Do you donate books? Yes, every time I do an unhaul video, which are usually in June, so it's coming up, uh, I make a big box and I let my friends go through it, and then the rest is being donated to the library. What's your favorite reading snack? We don't know. We don't, we, we, we no idea. What's your favorite reading position? Sitting? Is there other, are there really other things? Like I feel like you move around, you'll lay down and stuff, but then you always go back to sitting. Natural light or lamp light? I mean, ideally natural light, but I will, you know, accept a lamp at night. Outside or inside? Well, we've kind of already, you know, talked about it, but the, like, let's talk about the perfect, perfect setting. Reading chair, you crack a window, it's fall, it's kind of windy, you have like a big blanket, natural light, ideal. With some tea. And maybe some Cheerios. <laughs> Breaking the cup, I, I don't even want to finish that sentence. What the actual F is wrong with you? Breaking the cover or keeping it smooth? Smooth, smooth, come on. Do you read in any other languages? French, when it's written in French. I don't like to read translation if I can avoid it. What book series do you want to finish this year? <sighs> I thought we already established I don't do that stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what do I want? Oh, uh, that's, that's End, which is the last book in the uh, Remembrance of Past, Earth's Past, whatever. The Three Body Problem, the third book. Uh, it's going on my TBR probably next month because I want to finish this thing. It's so good, but yes, yeah, so, uh, so. That's the next one I'm finishing for sure. What book release are you the most excited about right now? Uh, well, I just got an arc of uh, The Invisible Life of Adi Lerue, whatever. 
uh, by v, v. Schwab, which is the one where uh, I was described. I'm really sorry, I keep looking there. There are freaking so many squirrels in my backward, my, my backward, my backyard, and they're driving me cuckoo. Like they're like literally doing the ninja thing on the fence, and it's just very distracting. So the invisible life of Adzilaru, which I'll pronounce it French because it's supposed to be a love story between a French girl and the devil over 300 years. It's coming up soon, and I want to read it ASAP if I can get over my slump. Do you have favorite book influencers? I will link some down below. I always just, I, I can't remember anyone's name ever, but so many people, like I'll list a couple, but like a lot, a lot. Do you have a channel, blog, social media feed? Uh, yes, you can, I have listed all of them on Twitter if you just wanna see like all of them in like one thing. Uh, I do have some listed in the description box too, so you can always look there to find more of me.